Welcome to the AdSense Site Approval Series. My name is Aurora, and I work in policy education for publishers at Google. This series takes a closer look at the different criteria required by Google AdSense to help you get your content ready for approval. In this video, I'll be looking at ownership and site readiness checks. Let's get started. Oh, I'm so sorry, this keeps happening. Andy, well, hello. Hi, Aurora. I'm stuck again. Do you have time to talk? I I've clicked on the sites to find out the current status of my website, and it seems it still needs attention. I can't seem to get past the basic site checks. What am I doing wrong? Well, you've called at exactly the right time. Again. I'm just about to talk through some of the key aspects of ownership and basic site checks. One of the most fundamental aspects of site approvals is proving to AdSense that you are the owner of the site. We need to make sure we can communicate with the site to be able to generate the advertising in situ. So do you have your ID handy? Uh, yes. I totally have my ID right here. Uh, <laughs> I got it right here, my ID. Definitely haven't lost it. <laughs> uh, no, Andy. I mean identifying yourself as the owner of the website, either by adding HTML code we give you, by verifying your ownership in Search Console, or by adding your ads.txt file. That's how we know you are the owner. Did you draw that ID? Uh, no. This is just an example of the rich content available on my life drawing website. Okay, I'm pasting the complete code into the HTML of my website. Did that work? Mm, not yet. Well, the next thing you need to do is ensure your site is accessible. Only by a very exclusive group of individuals who have paid for the privilege of accessing my incredible life drawing knowledge. Andy, as well as making sure your site is published and live on the internet, you'll need to make sure AdSense can reach the site. You may also want to remove any IP ranges or geography restrictions. If it's passworded, you may want to lift the password restriction so that we can approve the content. Once your content is approved, you can create a crawler login to access your login protected pages. I can do that too. But I can assure you there is no room for bugs and creepy crawlies on this site. <sighs> oh, Andy, a crawler is a good thing for AdSense. It's what determines the content of your page so that we can provide relevant advertising. You can grant crawler access from within your robots.txt file by removing the following lines. And if you need to know more about crawlers visiting protected pages, please check the link in the description box. Okay, fine, but my site still doesn't work. What is going wrong? Hmm, let's take a look at this site. Ah, oh, Andy, it says under construction. Well, of course. It's a drawing and drafting site, and I haven't, you know, finished drafting it yet. I'm afraid your website has been turned down because you don't have any content. If you have no content, then AdSense has nothing to generate relevant ads for. And even after you're approved, you need to make sure you only place ads on pages with content. If you need more information, you can check out the Webmaster Guidelines linked in the description box. I see what you're saying. Okay, back to the drawing board. Or maybe just to the drawing board for the first time. That's right. And that's our guide to site readiness checks and ownership. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Google AdSense YouTube channel so that we can help you better understand our program policies. Until the next episode, goodbye. Goodbye, Aurora. Thanks for your help.